This episode features Harriet Hegman, who replaced Liz Cheney. This is called Elections Have Consequences. Thank the Lord. I'm John Mike Keene. Let's watch Harriet. We now have the details on what the DOJ is required by law to do and its intentional violation of the law and the impact that this has had on DOJ employees in the form of the loss of the ability to earn a living and having their lives destroyed. She is going after the Department of Justice, that is Merrick Garland's Department of Justice, in a way that Liz Cheney never would. Here's Liz Cheney on how she could have won. Two years ago, I won this primary with 73% of the vote. I could easily have done the same again. The path was clear. But it would have required that I go along with President Trump's lie about the 2020 election. Nah, you wouldn't have won even if you went along with whatever you thought you would have gone along. Thank the Lord to a great patriot, Miss Hegman. And tonight, Harriet Hegman has received the most votes in this primary. She won. She smeared you. Good thing, because she's after the FBI right now in a way that Liz Cheney wouldn't be, which is why Liz Cheney lost. The people wanted someone like Harriet Hegman to represent them because she does her job. Why did they do it? I suppose for the same kind of reasons that Mr. Kirchner was just outlining, because they have some obsession of something that is actually not real. The FBI went after him because he was a conservative Catholic who was a whistleblower. And the FBI wanted to destroy the whistleblower and destroy his, li his livelihood. But they also didn't just violate the law for the sake of violating the law. They did so with the explicit intent of targeting certain a certain class of employees, and in this instance, those they perceive to be conservatives. Conservatives whom they hung all these conspiracy theories around their necks, calling them Project 2025 supporters and all these. These guys are, the FBI are full of liberal socialist weirdos. One whistleblower stated, quote, that if an FBI employee fit a certain profile as a political conservative, they were viewed as security concerns and unworthy to work at the FBI. And that means the FBI is probably spying on me already, considering me a, a some kind of a risk because I'm conservative, because I'm pro-life, because I'm religious, because I even support Project 2025 for all the reasons they think, because I think there could be questionable uh, election results. The FBI is probably monitoring my phones. Well, and I think your testimony is that they also are trying to get rid of anyone who holds Christian values and Christian beliefs. Is that your experience as well? That is my experience, especially when you see the comments that were leveled against me in the uh, findings during the investigation. And FBI hunting Christians. This is for all my atheist viewers who go, hey, some of us are are conservative. Just because you're a Christian, don't think that you guys own the conservative movement. No, you guys have to know where the front lines of the battle are. The front lines of the battle are not left versus right, Democrat versus Republican. It is specifically Christian Trump supporters versus the left. It's the left is after you go work for any company that is leftist, the government, Walt Disney Company, any creative outlet, any university, if you're a born-again Christian, you're hunted. If you're merely an atheist on the right, you get some level of cover. So we have the gentleman sitting next to you ranting and raving about uh, this Project 2025. I doubt that he really understands anything about it, but ranting and raving about that, but doesn't seem to be at all bothered by the fact that you were targeted because you were a conservative and a Christian. Do you find that odd? I do find it a bit surprising. We shouldn't be targeting groups of people within our organizations because of firmly held belief or any kind of political standpoint. Yeah, in America, you have a First Amendment right to your creed. And there's and workplaces are not allowed to discriminate against you based on race, based on sexual orientation, but they are allowed to uh, discriminate against you based on religion, but they don't discriminate against all of them equally. They, uh, Mormons get a little bit of flack. Catholics get some flack. But if you're a conservative evangelical, it's open season on you and everyone knows it. Were the officials involved in this unlawful conduct, such as acting assistant section chief Dina Perkins and assistant deputy, deputy assistant director Jeffrey Veltry punished or in any way held accountable for their violation of employees' First Amendment rights? 
Not that I'm aware of. I know Ms. Perkins is still in the same position, and Mr. Veltri received a promotion to the fifth largest FBI office in the country, the Miami Field Office. Jeff Veltri, he's the one that got the promotion. It's Veltri. That is a compromised, scumbag, FBI, anti-Christian bigot. I know Mr. Horowitz has, has talked about them not, not exclusively only targeting conservatives, but all of the individuals that have come to us from these various whistleblowers. There's one counterexample of somebody who wasn't conservative. All the others that we've seen, there was a clear focus on these individuals' vaccination status, their First Amendment views, their political stances, and, and that seems to have gone, you know, been, been accepted by leadership of the FBI. Boy, the FBI has really been weaponized against not only the American public, but its own employees, hasn't it? it it's, it's sad. The, the term weaponization obviously can be, mean a lot of things to a lot of people. It is being used against Christians, but even people who work for the FBI aren't safe. They went after their own conservatives inside. And by the way, if you're conservative, they're just like going, you need not apply. If you're a Christian, you need not apply to the FBI. We want all the secret spooky tasks of being unelected and able to investigate you. The Federal Bureau will only investigate, allow you to investigate if you're not a Christian. They don't want any of those people mucking up what they intend to do with the state against everyone. But when you see the direct impact on someone's life, like Marcus and his family, to go 27 months without pay, as of today, he still has not received the 27 months of back pay that the FBI committed to give him. Um, similarly for Garrett O'Boyle, the amount of time they've gone, I think 23 months at this point, it, it truly has ruined their lives. Just remember this, when Trump guts the FBI and everyone has tears their hair out, going, you, you can't do that. Just remember, he's firing a bunch of totalitarian Democrats bunch of socialists and communists, a bunch of far left religious persecutors, a bunch of bigots, a bunch of people who hate and despise Christians, conservatives, Catholics, evangelicals. They're so unprofessional. They should not be working in this job. They're going to use the state to oppress free Americans. Well, what does this actually say about the Department of Justice and FBI uh, and, and their interest in actually righting the wrongdoing and the unlawful acts that they've engaged in? Oh, they have no interest in righting the wrong acts. They're going to keep getting away with it. If you vote for Harris, you're asking for the state to hunt down Christians, Catholics, and you're going, but I'm a liberal uh, Catholic. I'm going to vote for Harris. I'm a, I'm a liberal evangelical for Harris. You're asking her to sick the state on your family members, on your church members, if they're conservative, you're doing that with your vote right now. Well, and I would agree with that. And Mr. Allen, I'm sorry for what the federal government did to you. I think it's an absolute crime against humanity the way that you were treated. I respect your faith, respect your, your, um, your loyalty to this country, and we all recognize that what the FBI did was wrong. We thank you for being here, and with that, I yield back. I'm also thankful to God that this woman blew out Liz Cheney and got her got and took that job away from a scum like Liz Cheney. This lady's an actual patriot trying to hold the FBI. She's trying to save the FBI to keep it from being dismantled. If the FBI keeps being this corrupt, it's going to have to be dismantled by Trump because they won't listen to her. Got to take him apart. I'm John Mike Keene.